Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about Johnson counter. In the previous video I have explained about a ring counter where the output of the last flip flop is given as the input for the first flip flop that is we have taken the true form as the output and in the Johnson counter instead of taking the true form we should consider the complement form of the last output as the input for the first flip flop that is only the difference between Johnson counter and ring counter okay sorry now Johnson counter in Johnson counter the complement output of <clears throat> the complemented output of last flip-flop is given as input for the first flip-flop first flip-flop it is also constructed using D flip flop or JK flip flop. D flip flop or JK flip flop, and it is a type of basically, it is a type of shift register counter. Shift register counter like your ring counter. It is a type of shift register counter like your ring counter. That means the counting operation is done based on shifting. Okay, now let us see the logic diagram of this using D flip-flops. Using D flip-flop. So, for 4-bit Johnson counter, consider 4 flip-flops. Okay, this is D, 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 Q1, output is given to D, Q2, D, Q3, 2D, this is Q4, instead of taking Q4 bar is given as input to the first flip flop, this is the change from the Johnson uh, ring counter and Johnson counter and this is the clock signal which is common here also. <coughs> Okay, this is clock signal. Now, using JK flip-flops, using JK flip-flops, see, in JK flip-flop, what we will do, J1, K1, Q1, Q1 bar, J2, K2, Q2, Q2 bar, J3, K3, Q3, Q3 bar, J4, K4, Q4, Q4 bar. See, Q4 we have given as the input for the J1 in the ring counter, but we have to give Q4 bar. Q4 bar should be the input for the J1 and here it is connected, here it is connected, here, 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 here and Q4 is given as K1. Okay, along with that clock signal is common for all the flip-flops. Okay, this is the clock signal. Okay, this is JK, JK flip-flop. Johnson counter only the output taking uh, from different positions now how the sequence table works sequence table so sequence table initially q1 q2 q3 q4 first what we will do we will set the first pin of the first clock pulse so clock pulse count so initially all the count will be reset to zeros 
so first we will give set on the first clock pulse so first clock pulse output will be one and remaining all are zeros this is zero this is one now what happens when the first clock pulse occurs it will be one triple zero for the next clock pulse for the second clock pulse this one will be shifted here this one will be shifted to this q2 along with that the last flip-flop complemented output is given as the input for the first flip flop it is zero so one will be given as the input and when third clock pulse occurs again zero means one okay this one is being shifted here this one is being shifted here this zero is complemented and given as the input and again one 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 this is for four again for the fifth clock pulse Again, for the fifth clock pulse, what happens? This G, this one at the last stage flip flop one complemented one will be given as the input for the first flip flop. So one complement is zero, and zero is given as the input for the first flip flop, and it is zero. And this one will be shifted here. This one will be shifted here. This one will be shifted here. And for the second next clock pulse again zero, one zero one one. Next for seven one zero 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 one. For eighth clock pulse, what happens? For eighth clock pulse again, one becomes all zeros. So zero, 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 and zero. See how many clock pulses it has taken to reach to the same state zero to seven. So how many clock pulses it counts now? Johnson counter eight clock pulses. Eight clock pulses are counted. Okay, a four bit Johnson counter can count eight clock pulses, but a four bit ring counter can count only four clock pulses. That is the difference between ring counter and Johnson counter. Four bit ring counter counts four clock pulses, but a four bit Johnson counter can count eight clock pulses. Okay, that means the double of the count occurs only because of the small change. Instead of taking the true form from the last stage to the first stage, we have taken the complemented form. Okay, in general, in general the n bit johnson counter can count 2n number of clock pulses and n bit ring counter n bit ring counter can count can count n number of clock pulses okay very 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 important n bit or ring counter n bit Johnson counter uh, sorry n number of pulses 2n number of pulses ok this is what the ring counter and Johnson counter and these two are also known as shift register counters here shifting operation is performed in both the both the counters okay if you see the ring diagram or we can say a state diagram ring or state diagram for this ring uh, johnson counter so it starts from 0 0 0 1 triple zero uh, four zeros 1 0 0 0 next one one zero zero 
This is what the Johnson counter state diagram. Johnson counter. Okay.